the very best of all cities, a utopia, a place favored by rulers, merchants, and even peasants. To this day, this picturesque historical place has preserved its identity and most importantly, its pride that stems from a rich background as the city that was built to be the best in its time. And there are many reasons to believe that. In Iran, the name Behshar, which literally means better city, rings a bell. It is a name of a large area in the north of the country in Mazandaran province. Behshar is home to one of the biggest and most historical Persian gardens. The UNESCO heritage site was built more than 400 years ago by the Safavid king, Shah Abbas I, as his very personal villa. But the question is, why did the king decide to build such an architectural masterpiece in the middle of the forest? A villa? A Persian garden in the middle of a forest? پاسخ این سوال برمیگرده به تصمیمی که شاه عباس اول در سال 1021 هجری قمری مبنی بر ساخت شهر اشرف البلاد میگیره و در کنار اون باغ شهر باغ عباسابات بهشهر رو به عنوان یک باغ کاملا خصوصی بنا میکنه Today's Behshar is the only city in Mazandaran province which does not have a river passing through it. To deal with the challenge, Safavid engineers discovered this huge reservoir and built a strong dam next to it. This way they could preserve water for the city and for irrigation and most importantly they used the unique location to build a magnificent private royal complex to give the emperor enough space to entertain himself and those within his circle. A Persian garden, as I said, in the middle of a forest. The latest architectural findings have recently unveiled new secrets about the Abbasabad garden. باغ عباس آباد شامل فضاهای معماری متعدد و مکمل هم هستند. از جمله یک تختگاه و شاهنشین که در حوض مرکزی واقع شده در واقع بالاترین سطح و لیول باغ. حمام، دو برج فشار شکن، فضاهای خدماتی، فضاهای اندرونی، فضاهای مطبخ و اقامتگاه خدمه دربار. همچنین یک صد با مساله سنگ که همچنان برپا هست و به عنوان یک از صدهای مهم منطقه داشت داره استفاده میشه. A cubic structure in the middle of the lake is what attracts many people to surf around it. Still, many visitors don't know the purpose that it was built for. That was what we were also trying to find out. We were given a very rare access, special permission to enter this ark only once to see what's going on inside it. Well, firstly, it's made of bricks and also a very special kind of binding material known as saruj, a traditional uh, combination of different substances which is much stronger than concrete. Of course, in addition to its beauty, the building had different tasks and responsibilities. One of them was uh, to uh, control the balance and the pressure of water. So this building used to serve as a hydraulic uh, pressure breaker that controlled the flow of water that went inside the lake from behind the dam and vice versa. Through these holes, um, which of course uh, are built around a, an empty space. And in addition to that, on top of the roof used to be a wooden bungalow connected to the shore with a wooden bridge. Since this was a very private resort for the king, he celebrated on top of that roof, under that bungalow, along with his very, very close friends at a time which usually occurred after the sunset. And what happened was that his servants stood shoulder to shoulder around the entire lake with uh, torches held in their hands in order to illuminate the entire atmosphere and make the party and the celebration more pleasant for the king. The Persian garden is defined as the manifestation of paradise on earth and water was an outstanding element that gave life to that paradise. What remains of this garden today still portrays the concept of paradise among Iranians some four centuries ago. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran.